Okay, so now we're going to put those contents of the form into my page. So I'm just going to go to the code view because it's easier. And I'm going to grab, well, I'll grab it with the header actually. So I'm going to grab that part, right click and copy. Then I'm going to go to my contact us page. I'm going to click in there. I'm going to go to split view so that I can find the section that I need. And here it is. It's down here in the main area, the editable area. And I can see where I've embedded the Google map. So I'm just going to create a bit of extra space. I'm going to hit the enter key. And in the line above, I'm going to paste that code. If we look in the live view, I can see that I've put it there. So that's been successful so far. In the contact form coding, I told you that I'd already put in the correct email address that it's being sent to. I told you that there's a, a thank you page. And uh, of course, I've already written one, but I'm going to create a new contact page just to demonstrate quickly and easily how that can be achieved. So going back to my contact form, I'm going to save that. Control S. We can see the asterisk disappears. And then I'm going to go uh, Control New. Um, no, actually, I'm going to be even. Yes, I'm going to use a new from that bootstrap template. And in the main editable area, I'm going to go to split view. Find that a bit easier. Control, scroll down. Usually it's highlighted. That's the sidebar. Editable sidebar, editable main is what I'm looking for. So, Gonna just delete that, make a few extra lines here, and I'm going to put in a heading H2. I'm going to type thank you. And after that, I'll put in something like. Um, Thank you. Uh, we'll get back to you soon. If I look at live view, that's uh, good enough. I'm going to save that. Save as. Well, I've already done it, so I'm just going to override that. I'm going to close that down. We're going to uh, amend this later, but there's my contact form and I could then upload all of those and preview them in the browser.